guys, welcome back to my channel. It is grocery haul day and I cannot wait to show you what I just brought home. Uh, it was another successful grocery haul where I planned my trip, had the figures in my head, I was right on. So that's always a good thing. It's really, really great when there are no surprises when it comes to your financial situation. So at least we've had one predictable financial situation today. Everything else has been an event, let me tell you. So let me just say to all of you young people who are working, uh, some of you are probably in the season of life where you're thinking about getting married or you are married. There is a reason why folks like Dave Ramsey press the, press the emergency fund idea. Today is one of those days. Ladies and gentlemen, unexpectedly, we have had to fix our dryer, which was $85. We just found out that we have to fix the unit that pulls our garage door up and down, $285. Had to get a new battery put in my car this morning. That was $75, wasn't expecting that. And my husband just had his truck worked on and unexpectedly, that is another $450. So yeah, so we're kind of like, now thankfully we have we have a savings account. We have money set aside, yet we were hoping to get to use that for other things. That is why an emergency budget or an emergency fund is only for emergency. Just, I'm thankful that we have the money in our savings account. I just hate that we have to use it. <laughs> so anyway, with that being said, you might be seeing a lot of beans and rice in uh, the upcoming grocery hauls. But today, today we have a little bit more variety. One thing that you will note, um, you guys know that I am doing Weight Watchers, is that I don't have a whole lot of Weight Watcher friendly things. There's just a couple of things, but that is the beauty of Weight Watchers, is I can eat all the things that I got. I just have to watch my portions, fill up on more vegetables and things, and not fill up so much on the heavier things. So you'll see what I'm talking about here in just a second. Let me get you turned around and let's go over this grocery so haul. So let's start with GFS. I've been getting bananas at 33 cents a pound. Guess what? They went up in price. <laughs> They're still 43 cents a pound. Um, so it was $2.58, yes, $2.58 for these two bunches instead of $2 um, that I was planning on. That's okay. Uh, they're the same price as all the bananas, but they are better quality. So I am okay with the fact that they were 43 cents. So moving on. Uh, I can't find my receipt for my Walmart haul, but I bought this 10 pound bag of fresh chicken leg quarters. We love this stuff roasted with Lowry seasoning salt. It is so delicious. Um, but it was 40, it was 58 cents a pound. So it was like 5.89. Um, I also got myself a diet drink. And so I spent, what it was less than $7 what I spent at Walmart for the Aldi haul. Okay, so at Aldi, I bought four, four cans of chunk light tuna and water. One smart point per can, you can't beat that. Um, so I got four of those at 69 cents each. I was, I'm almost out of my sugar-free coffee creamer. Now, my daughter has a lactose uh, allergy, and so I saw this, it was only 30 cents more than my sugar-free creamer, and I thought, you know what, this is low in points, it's only 30 cents more than my creamer, and my daughter can drink it, so I just went ahead and got this. We're gonna try that and see if we can make it last a couple of weeks, so we'll see. Um, the eggs went up again, you guys. They were a whopping 29 cents a dozen, so I got three. Um, I bought a box of angel hair pasta. Because, um, I got this head of lettuce at 95 cents. Okay, so let me tell you guys. We've been watching Counting On, and this week we watched the episode where Ginger uh, visited her now husband's grandmother, and she was making a huge Italian meal, and me and my daughter both looked at each other and said, we want pasta. So I got this I bag. I always want pasta, though. 
truth. So I got this bag of rigatoni. I got a couple of jars of marinara sauce. These were 99 cents each. This was like a dollar 29. Um, and then I also sprung for a bag of meatballs. The meatballs were $4.39 for a two pound bag. Not too bad, not too bad for meatballs that are already made up and I can save, uh, save me some time and preparation there. So I'm going to make this and it's gonna be a great comfort meal. Still had Neuchatel cheese on sale for 79 cents, so I got me one of those. And I also got a regular block of cream cheese because my family doesn't love this stuff as much as I do. So, no. <laughs> so I just got a regular box of cream cheese for them. I'd rather eat the fat. Yes. Um, I got a jug of whole milk. Um, of course, we were out of jelly and we were out of peanut butter, so I got both of those. I got two boxes of macaroni and cheese. Um, some Happy Farm singles for uh, sandwiches. And my husband actually went out yesterday and picked up some lunch meat, so I didn't have to buy any this time. Um, I got some sour cream for 99 cents. I got some white onions, which were $1.69, and they were actually cheaper than um, some of the other kinds of onions. Um, I got another bag of rice. I got two bags of sugar, which these had actually gone up. I was really surprised that a few of the items that I normally get had gone up in price. Um, I got another box of tea. I got uh, another bottle of ranch dressing because we were out. This was 89 cents for this big bottle. Two rolls of paper towels at uh, 49 cents each. Two bags of tortilla chips at $1.19 each. This was another big surprise. Potatoes, I've never seen them cost more than $3.69 for a 10 pound bag, but today they were $3.99. Okay, so here I know all the haters are going to hate. We don't love margarine, but they were out of butter, and we have to have something to put on our baked potatoes. So I just went ahead and got the cheap fake stuff. It's just for a short amount of time. No big deal. Look what hubby just brought in from the garden. <laughs> Yay, tomatoes. There's so, a bunch more out there. Be great for salad. Um, let's see what else. Okay. Um, I got two cans of cream of mushroom soup. Again, this is not the Fit and Active, but the families notice the difference between the Fit and Active and the regular, so I just got the regular. Um, and I got hubby two, uh, four cans of chicken noodle soup to take to work. I think that's everything. Okay, so for all the stuff that I got at Aldi, I spent $48.46. Okay, so with all of these items that I purchased, I spent about $58. I don't know exactly since I can't find my Walmart receipt and I don't remember exactly how much it is, but it was around that. So anyway, so for dinners, like I said, we will be having rigatoni pasta with meatballs and that should last us a few meals. I'm thinking like dinner, lunch, dinner, but we'll see. Sometimes my kids surprise me by how much they can eat. is what we got this grocery haul so I hope you guys enjoyed it and until next time you made it to the end of the video awesome if you haven't clicked that subscribe button go ahead and do that I would love for you to stick around um, like I've said before we talk about biblical homemaking and womanhood here we talk about homeschooling working from home uh, we talk about gardening and food preservation and all the cool things and I would love it if you would hang out with me and then while you're at it, over here, I've got a video that I suggest you watch. And yeah, that's it. Have a great day. Later.